Hi guys, this is my Android head unit and this is the Google Play Store. We are looking at Apex Launcher. Let's click install first. And while installing, take a look at this. Um, this is how the screenshots looks like. It works on tablet. That also means it will work on this kind of display. You know, this is a 10 inch Android head unit and uh, you can customize the tablet experience. So yeah, it looks pretty good yeah uh, simple easier use and flexible that's what it says but the thing is um, I really need to test it for myself so let's wait for it right it's installed let's click on open and wait for it to launch so all right choose a driver style vertical or horizontal well I think this will be better for me and set your home screen layout rows and columns i don't need to have so many yeah actually as small as possible now 12 will do yeah four times four so click next and home screen transition none i don't need or you can just choose tablet oh. so apex launcher pro i do believe you need to pay for that anyway um what do i need to do Oh, free trial, three months, lifetime, skip it. Nope, I want to skip it. All set, click on home screen. And there you go. You can choose which is your default launcher. Uh, for example, now this is a Apex launcher, right? So you can click here and click always but I'm going to just put just once as I'm just testing it and setting Apex launcher as default is not complete yet try again nope I don't want to try now okay looks pretty clean and easy to use but the thing is it comes with all this yeah maybe I'll just put it here and as for this I want to hmm here and see this how to search all the apps this app drawer like cloud tv i don't need this and I click it longer does it do anything nope click here it goes to my apps so maybe i want to search for my apps and drag it here can i do that oh simple and easy right again maybe my radio here drag and put it here yeah this is normally what I use for music and my radio hmm this is cool yeah there you go um let's go back back okay apex pro I'll remove it apex settings now this is what I want to see so let me just arrange this nicely this over here teams over here and the play store i don't want it to be here just remove it and this is the weather i just put next to oh it's actually one single oops back again it's actually one single widget let me just resize it yeah that will look much better okay click on weather i think it's the same thing yeah when you click here and this button so this is not required so I click on time it goes to your time settings in your Google and okay so it looks like I can put one two three four one I can put something here as well yeah okay and I don't want this as I do not want to search for anything this maybe I just put it up I wonder if I can put this bigger nope it doesn't resize it bigger it just moved the things around okay so let's see if I can put something in the middle say for example yeah I got my car launcher see I'm bored of it I just want to click here to start my got my car launcher I can do that it's just it's just an app anyway yeah so 
let's look back at the Apex car launcher or Apex launcher sorry um, Apex settings home screen okay you can have layout and style how many rows you want and columns you want I've already said that earlier scrolling and transition you can have infinite scrolling and all kind of uh, you know effects yeah it's a wallpaper I can do I can just pick any image or any wallpaper apps um, okay search bar I don't want to have search bar I already removed it earlier anyway so just leave it widgets resize any widgets yeah we just padding overlapping widgets okay and card feed hmm okay and more you can hide notification bar yep i don't want to see this transparent notification bar i already hidden it so it's not going to be there hide shadows okay let's try that hide crosshairs and icon to home screen yeah i already can do that okay that looks like that's it for home screen for app drawer drawer style and settings background opacity well, well this is how it looks like you know um yeah maybe set to 50 or 60 background color you can set it to maybe red just for the sake of oh it looks mm, maybe not yeah maybe dark one yeah, i like the dark frequently used apps it will use it will go to the top yeah so that's good um, okay probably on icons so I can have icon size I like it biggest yeah as it I'm driving in the car I won't I need it to be big uh, label size if possible you know as big as possible label font um, that's color yeah so I won't change anything this is label font uh, maybe I want to emboss it yeah robots medium that would be good um, show label shadow nope no shadows label shadow color nope I don't want shadow so that's it for drawer layouts and icons more closer draw close drawer when apps open Mm, nope I might want to still see what's inside there when I open the uh, apps swipe to open drawer that's okay that's okay all right and that's it for app drawer for dock dock layout install number of icons as yeah six will do horizontal medium Oh, this is the margin wow okay that's quite a lot of customization that you can do here so i just leave it as it is i don't want to mess things up icon size wow you can do it that big dock layout okay uh i'm gonna leave it as it is I'm not going to change anything on the dock scrolling animations yep and more okay folder folder preview it will be in grid or you can be in any other form ios okay it looks like that uh, grid line fan stack um forgot how it looks like uh yeah it was grid okay and uh, for the icon background it can be ring square I think square is nice for the animation circle or you can have scale circle okay let just leave it folder when folder is open uh, for the background style can be light or dark or like yeah like we do and you can hide the folder name if you want to like that oh you get a name there okay and there are so many things you can do okay next um, action and gestures and 
normally I would not do this uh, because yeah although you can do a lot yeah I guess just okay Google detection pinch in swipe in two fingers swipe down yeah things you can set when you do all these kind of gestures uh, I won't touch it yeah because I'm driving I don't want to mess around with it uh, hidden apps that's nice you can add hidden apps so things that you want uh, you don't want people to see in the app drawer you can actually add any of this that you don't want people to see yeah of course I know that you guys have some apps that is uh, secretive yeah and app lock app lock things that people can't open so yeah things like Chrome and YouTube once you protect it you have to put in a pattern to lock it yeah that's nice yeah very nice um, teams okay this is online it's downloaded so this is a default team so online means you have to really wait yeah for it to load I'm already online but it's not loading so I'm not gonna wait notification batch this is uh, I gotta see add for that uh, because it's a free trial it's only happens in the pro where the temperature is in Celsius you can change the Fahrenheit refresh period three hours show where the icon in drawer um, no city you can edit the location you can change it to anywhere you want mine is here KL and okay what now where am I now um, I'm done this I'm done this oh I was in weather sorry and that's it you can also go to the widget store but I believe you need to pay for that anyway um, at one settings and select the language uh, I think the default language is English this is default so you can also change it to English if you want to screen lock method instant lock timeout lock anything you want so say you want to lock it instant lock uh, you have to activate the admin app and what else or you just click here to lock the screen I'm not gonna lock it um, normalize icon size uh, app animation give it memory and whatnot okay backup and restore this is nice so you can actually back up the current settings and desktop data or restore it again or you can import it from another launcher that's nice yeah so you can restore back anywhere you want okay and I can reset the default actually it's very comprehensive and uh, to be very honest this is a very complete launcher one more here So it's really simple and easy to use. I, I really want it to have is uh, uh, maybe a, a music player over here. That will be just perfect. Otherwise, it's a simple and easy to use launcher. Very flexible, very complete uh, launcher. Uh, whether if it's better than Agama Car Launcher or Car Web Guru, that's not a question. Yeah, because those are made for Android head units. These are made for tablets and handphones. So anyway still works and it's free so if you like this give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so bye